Hey people, this is DSC Razor, and I'm bringing you up to speed with the situation that keeps going on and on, which is beyond a joke now, and it's involving Domus Live. His channel seems to be continually targeted. He now has his, ch his channel 2 taken down because he made a video and uploaded it, and he went away to Hawaii for a couple of days and he came back to find out that his channel was shut down again. That's because of a copyright disclaimer. Somebody had actually made the same video, exactly all the same images, that he made in the first place before this person, and then he got a copyright strike because this person claimed it was his content that he owned, which actually doesn't anyway, because all content from this, the news wire is rock stars. But the fact that Domus Live made it first and then got screwed over was pretty piss take to be quite honest. But I'm going to play you the interview between iCrazy Teddy, Domus Live, and Two Dynamic, and you can tell me what you think yourself, because I actually think it is out of order. I mean, Domus Live has had Channel One taken down. I mean, he had over half a million subs, and he was accused of buying subs on that one. Then he had Domus Live Two which has now been taken down and he had like 170 subs on that one so I'm going to play you the conversation and then I'll see you at the end So what is up guys, welcome back and a bunch of you guys lately have been asking you know what happened to Dummy's life, where has he been, what's he up to and more, more specifically where can you guys see his videos from uh, in the future so he wanted us to do an interview today to kind of clear up a bunch of things we're here with him and Teddy right now uh, for the interviews so I guess the first question that people want to know is what the hell happened Dom? Well, I took a vacation to Hawaii, um, that's where I've been for the past <laughs> few days <laughs> No, um... Well, what happened was um, I did a video on some pictures from the Rockstar Newswire, and uh, these were GTA 5 uh, PC uh, pictures or whatever. And this kid, like, I'm not going to say his name because like it's going to bring attention to him whether or not it's is negative or whatever. So this kid, he basically made the same video I made, and he made it after I made it. And he copyright, copyright striked my video. So basically, he had the same pictures, did a strike on it, all this stuff, and what I went a to a fucking cunt. <laughs> and I went, and I went to appeal this, and YouTube, being the the bot system they are or whatever, they told me that I misused the uh, the the uh, the copyright appeal claim or something like that, and all my information was legit. I even contacted Rockstar, had had Rockstar contact Google, they did that for me, and everything was straight. But you know, YouTube. They made a mistake on this, and you know that's what it is. So my my channel Domus Live Two was taken down. That's where we're at right now. So Dom, that the kid who actually sent you a copyright strike didn't own any of the content whatsoever, right? Can you confirm? He, he owned zero of the content. Like I, I know I made know. the exact same video showcasing the GTA Five PC images to my subscribers. Right. So uh, does that mean I'm next? Are the YouTubers vulnerable wait, to this wait, here's also? The thing, though. He, there's no way he could have owned the content because they were Rockstar images. If anything, right. Rockstar was the only people who owned it. But right. you know, it, it's images from the news wire. YouTubers are allowed to use images to showcase in their videos. So this kid basically sent a false copyright strike to Dom and uh, YouTube being YouTube Right, they think stuff. that he right. They think that he owns the content. You get what I'm saying here. Yeah, so, so it's all automated that's, system. That's why it's all. It's stupid, and and that's the problem right there. Because like we're not able to speak to YouTube directly. Like we're supposed to have these networks that go and they speak to YouTube for us. But um, yeah, we don't have that. <laughs> Yeah, it's why you see, like, there's been so many YouTubers in the past that have just been, you know, false copyright strikes, and it's a shame that YouTube allows this stuff to even happen, with, like, no direct support for it, you know, to be fixed properly. Right. At first, I was worried about, okay, well, I'm not going to be able to stream, I hope I'm able to stream when GTA 5 PC comes out, and days later, I think I lose the channel, I'm like, okay, it went from that to that, so that's pretty stupid. What really sucks is that the kid had the audacity to just sit on the copyright page and out of anyone and, and everyone he could have picked out, he just picked out Dom when Dom's literally on his second channel trying to trying to lay low and just do his thing and yeah. he's just like, I'm striking this dude and you know that what it literally is, just fucked everything and, up. And I think it came from just jealousy. A, a lot of um, a lot of people that are that are starting off on YouTube or just, just YouTube periods period, sometimes mm -hmm. they get jealous and and he probably felt that, okay, why am I not getting the views that Dom is Live is getting, and you know, it's because Dom is Live uploads two times a day, man. I've been doing this for so long, 
you know that's why I get those views and you know he, he got a little jealous but copyright strikes don't work that way you can't strike something well evidently you can but you can't strike something you don't own just because someone made the same video as you, it doesn't work that way. You have to yeah. own the content. What's crazy content about it as well Rockstar. is you uploaded the video first and he uploaded it afterwards and still, it's so crazy. Yeah, just because it was those pictures. And what's weird too is like my pictures were moving in a different way. I had different music and all kinds of stuff and it didn't matter. YouTube sees what they see. Uh, it's, it's funny how YouTube explains their system to be foolproof, yet we look at the example of Dom again and again with his first channel and now with his second channel, which is terminated, and we'll get onto his new channel in a second, but th there is literally no security or protection for YouTubers, and that's something that comes back and scares us every day in the form of Dom's life in this he, case. I know, it's, it's weird because like we make YouTube so much money, but we're not protected. I don't... It's, it's like it's like we're really on a site that is just poor yep. but there's so much money coming to this site and it's like no it feel like feels like there's no team to protect anybody or they don't even hear what we have to say they just okay you did this bam we don't want to hear what happened that's mm -hmm. what happened and uh, another thing that i wanted to personally address was uh, there's a couple of comments and people over on twitter you know throwing blame or you know how people just like to play chinese whispers or come up with different stories and conspiracies <laughs> about how you're terminated i know now that you've got it off your chest as to why you've actually got terminated uh, i think there's a couple of misconceptions that we can go over if you guys want to do that yeah i mean well f well by the way guys my channel is going to be in the description of uh, teddy and declan and you may be watching this on my channel go check out their channel if you do discover my channel go check out teddy and declan good friends of mine but um people People were saying that Teddy flagged me and <laughs> we keep saying this over and over like me and Teddy are best buds like Teddy wouldn't do that like mm -hmm. that's so stupid and that's not what happened you know my my channel was taken down because of the, the auto bot system of the copyright system then appealing it like that's what happened yeah. and the same thing happened on my first channel so there's gonna be people out there that are still gonna say okay well your channel got taken down for you know for tags and thumbnails and this and that but what we'll do is this we'll show you guys the stuff on the screen so that way you can truly see what happened yeah the, all the proofs been tweeted out by dumb as well like all the things from youtube saying why you know all that kind of stuff so you know yeah. just to prove that is exactly why and i guess what is your next channel what are you going to be uploading to that is the main question people want to see where you're going to be producing content from and uh and it's crazy because like you know i just been sitting just trying to clear my thoughts trying to clear my mind and yeah. stuff and all my subs are tweeting me and saying we're in videos i miss you and all that kind of stuff and i'm like okay you know i'll, I'll get back to doing it eventually so you know i'm going to continue to do gta 5 of course other games but uh primary gta 5 and i'm just going to get back to just having fun again like when when my first channel went down and i started domus live 2 i was having so much fun like it was a lot of fun at first because i was uploading anything I wanted to upload and I was having a lot of fun and I think the same thing is going to happen again I get a chance to build a, another channel of course like who no one really wants to go through that but it is fun like seeing how fast you can grow a channel you know because like my first channel I got that to 500,000 subscribers in two years then Domus Live 2 we got that to 170,000 um, subscribers in I think what four months or something like that or yeah like three months so I mean of course this was going to grow a little bit slower but it's gonna be fun just to grow it again and it's just stupid that all this happened yeah and once again guys his channel will be linked in the description make sure you go over and subscribe to it if you want to find any of his content before and if not just go over and subscribe anyway yeah definitely check out his channel his social media all of that one thing i want to say is that us three have been working together for such a long time and every single thing that goes or has been going wrong with dom it definitely does affect me and declan as well because yeah. not only do we work together with videos we grow our channels together as well and to see him as soon as you know he's in a place where he's happy and excited he just gets knocked down again and again it's, it's just absolutely ridiculous to think that youtube is. is letting this happen people from youtube are seeing this but they're not doing anything right and also want to address one more thing like a lot of people are going to say well dumb well since you lost two channels or one channel you're not allowed to operate on youtube well <laughs> what I'm going to be doing is I have someone that's going to manage my channel for me. So, well, it's not exactly my channel. I have someone that's going to manage the channel for me. So basically, I'm going to make the content. Then a person is going to upload stuff for me and all that kind of stuff. So I won't have access to it. If you guys want to talk to me, you can talk to me over Twitter and all that kind of jazz. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess. Is there anything else you want to say? I mean, that's. Mind? I mean, that's the way it's going to have to go. Yeah. So that way, I can keep safe from it being taken Definitely. down. Definitely. Like a key. The only stuff. thing I can say on the matter is, it, it's such an unfortunate situation. You know, someone as big because you you had a big fan base in the GTA community, regardless of what anyone yeah. wanted to say. It, it's it's bad yeah. on, on your end, and of course, the people who loved your content and stuff like that. It's also lost yeah, that as well. Yeah, so, and, and and that's the thing. Like, um, it. Whenever these things happen, I look at my Twitter and it's like all my subs, like they're they're so upset and they're you know they're they're upset all this happening and I feel bad for them, man. There's so many people. Like if you look at if you go back and look at my timeline that day, you will see all these different people. Like they're they're so sad that this happened. Of course, there's gonna be some trolls out there, but who cares about them? <laughs> but you know, it, it just sucks seeing that, man. I felt that made me feel even worse, like seeing all these people sad. And a lot of people really don't understand that. Like when when YouTube takes takes down a channel, they don't think about all the people that watch that content. Imagine like your favorite TV show, right, going down. Like you know, like you miss your favorite TV show that you watch every day. And a lot of people don't watch TV anymore more they watch YouTube and for them I'm one of their favorite TV shows and it's gone mm -hmm. yeah, Tommy's so Life TV will be returning guys <laughs> once again his channel is in the description I'd urge you guys to subscribe yeah, uh, one thing I wanted to ask is Dom are you going to be trying to get your old channels back yes um, what what I'm gonna do is I'm contacting a lawyer right now to try to get a fair case that's the thing because my channels were they, they they weren't taken down the right way. Um, I, I didn't get a fair case. I didn't get a chance to explain myself, and I just want to get a lawyer that's going to tell my you know my situation the right way. So um, that's why I'm going to get a lawyer. Well, we can only hope for the best, man. Hopefully, you do get those back. And uh, yeah, definitely. I uh, know. Is there anything else you want, you want to say in the situation or? Oh, I mean, I I miss doing this, man. But it felt good just to go away for a little bit. Yeah. But I miss doing mm -hmm. it. I think Yo, we all uh, need that break, right? Yeah, everybody, yeah. everyone needs a but break. But not this way, though. But not this way. But I think we all need that break, man. Definitely. Hopefully, uh, in the next, in the coming months, we can have a couple collaborations that will kick off. Maybe Dom can get his channels back as well. We just hope for the best. And uh, yeah, Deccan's grandfather is also a fat pig. What the? <laughs> 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 he is pretty ready for uh, us. <laughs> but anyway, I think that pretty much wraps it up uh, for the interview. Mm -hmm. I want to thank Dom as well uh, for coming to explain everything. Once again, guys, subscribe to his channel. Top link in the description. And uh, I guess we'll catch you all uh, next time. Peace. Pears. Later, guys. Pears. Pears. So what is up, guys? So there you go. Show Dom his, uh, live, some, Dom his live some love. Go to his third channel now which is on YouTube which is obviously managed by someone else and his content is uploaded through them. You can also show him love through like Crazy Teddy's account on YouTube and to Dynamic. Also his Twitter and Facebook. And thanks for watching and listening. Leave a like as usual, subscribe, comment if you like, sell me on my knob, whatever, and I'll catch you later.